started these, I started them with as uh, photo collages. Oh, really? Yeah, they're small photo collages um, from magazines. Usually, like, the, the area that's modeled here would be a black and white of, like, say, part of somebody's body. And then I'd, you know, I'd cut that out and then cut into it, you know, these other shapes out of, out of uh, magazine materials. Small, tiny. These marks are, like, torso. You know, the torso kind of. I mean, you can't recognize it at all. That was kind of where these were coming from, from those collages I made. I mean, it's all messed up in this, but that... Like a shaded arm. The last two I've, I've turned, uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking about the, the atmospheric kind of thing and, and landscapes. But they weren't about that initially. Like, I don't like these very much, <laughs> but they, um, when, I, when I build these things and, like, take the tape off of them, and, you know, and get that type of thing, it, then it, it influences the other one. And like these, the, the rubbing area, I sort of want to incorporate into. I like the, the kind of texture it gives as opposed to this and this. And so those kind of feed into, uh, into the, how I work on these, but it's a lot slower than that. You know what I mean? Like I've, recently these are a lot kind of looser, like the markings in this, you know, compared to this. You know, they're a lot, they're a lot rougher. And that's sort of from working quick, more quickly on those. These probably were sketches um, that I did for the pieces. Because uh, a, a few years ago, I would sketch and then um, draw the pieces from the sketch. It's only been more recently that I go back um, and sketch from the work and then try to um, you know, see what will happen with that. But yeah, I, have, I mean, I have tons of these stupid things. Well, you see, there I'm working on a, on a logo for somebody. <laughs> that goes in here, too. Uh, so even when I'm doing uh, advertising, I, I like uh, the ideas and stuff, I'll, 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 I'll draw them out, which drives other people crazy because everybody just uses a computer. But like when I'm coming up with a layout or something, I'll, I just sketch it out, and then I do it on the computer. So I work a lot through that. That's why I have all these books laying all over the place. They're on wood pieces of wood and stuff that were roughly six feet mm -hmm. high, so it had something to do with my own height. And then these, it just, um, I think the last stuff I showed you, I rolled out large sheets of paper and drew on them. And it, and it just was, it was, again, it was like too much. It was trying to be something I, I think that it wasn't. So um, I started, and then I, I actually worked very small. I did, I don't, I don't have them in here. I did a little sketchbook of these drawings that were really tiny. See if I could make it work. You know, what I was thinking about make it work in a real small kind of area. That's kind of, these are like that too. I just didn't want to do anything, you know, I didn't want to do anything large like that. Maybe it freed me up to, you know, think about them definitely. So we got the eraser marks on it. Well, this is sort of a study of the actual form, whether the form being the whole overall strand of pearls or individually how they relate to one another um, and in that that idea that becoming the drawing um, at the same time understanding on a miniature scale how this will work and a larger version um, later in the desert i hope to make kind of a giant version of it um, ideally each sphere i see five feet in diameter um, but again it's definitely a budget issue um, so I may do a mock-up um, and do the strand out of balloons and take aerial photographs of it and sort of see where it goes. It, this piece is now on the wall, it's not on a flat surface in front of you. In experimenting with the material, it can also be about understanding the, the life of the material and how it changes and how it decomposes and then sort of studying the, um, the process of it deteriorating. These were cactus leaves that were actually part of a drawing on the wall with fabric, and over time they wrinkled and shriveled and um, they're actually molding, and I was watching all the mold. It's kind of this constant process. And to what extent are we ignoring that? And to what extent is it sort of beyond our control? Like how this is falling apart, and this is sort of beyond the control. Um, 
you know, one slip and that strand falls or the string breaks. Um, and then there are those whose pearls really fall apart and they go through this whole restranding process to find the right, you know, person to string them properly. I don't know, I see this as a drawing, even though it's very obviously a steel object. Wow. <laughs> Very simply, 